From best-selling writer and futurist, Rock Hatfield, Real Men in Black, not your TV MIB, this is Real MIB. Death. It's a the ultimate unknown, a mystery that has captivated humanity since the dawn of time. What happens when we take our final breath? Do we simply cease to exist? Or is there something more, a realm beyond our understanding? For centuries, these questions have remained unanswered, confined to the realms of philosophy and faith. Yet, there are those who claim to have caught a glimpse beyond the veil, individuals who have experienced what we call near-death experiences, or NDEs. These profound events, often occurring during brushes with death, offer tantalizing hints of an afterlife, a place where consciousness persists even as the physical body fades away. While skeptics remain unconvinced, the sheer volume of NDE accounts, often strikingly similar despite cultural or religious backgrounds, begs us to consider the possibility that there is more to life and death than meets the eye. Could these experiences be mere hallucinations, products of oxygen-starved brains? Or could they be windows into a reality that transcends our current understanding of life and death? As we delve into the enigmatic realm of NDEs, we embark on a journey into the heart of human consciousness and the very nature of existence. Join me, if you will, as we explore the boundary between science and spirituality, where the known collides with the unknown, and where the boundaries of reality itself seem to blur. Near-death experiences are as diverse as the individuals who experience them. Yet despite their unique characteristics, they often share common threads, recurring themes that weave a tapestry of otherworldly encounters. Imagine, if you will, the sensation of leaving your physical body, of floating above yourself and observing the scene unfolding below. This out-of-body experience, a hallmark of NDEs, is frequently described as a sense of weightlessness of liberation from the confines of the physical form. Many enders report journeying through a tunnel, a swirling vortex of colors and light, at the end of which awaits a radiant presence. This being, often perceived as a source of unconditional love and wisdom, may be experienced as a religious figure, a deceased loved one, or simply as a guiding light. The encounter is often accompanied by a sense of profound peace and understanding, a feeling of coming home. Some NDRs describe encountering deceased relatives or friends, engaging in conversations filled with love, forgiveness and closure. These reunions, often imbued with an overwhelming sense of reality, leave individuals with a profound sense of comfort and the knowledge that death is not the end, but rather a transition to another state of being. While the exact nature of these experiences remains a mystery, the consistency of these accounts across cultures and backgrounds is difficult to ignore. Could these shared elements point to a universal truth about the nature of consciousness and the afterlife? Or are they simply the product of our collective imagination, a shared human longing for meaning and continuity in the face of mortality? In the heart of the atom, where the laws of classical physics break down, lies the baffling realm of quantum mechanics. This strange and honestly counterintuitive branch of science describes a world where particles can exist in multiple states at once, where information can travel instantaneously across vast distances, and where the very act of observation seems to influence the outcome of events. At the core of quantum physics lies the principle of superposition, which states that a particle can exist in multiple states simultaneously until it is measured. Imagine a coin spinning in the air. Until it lands, it is both heads and tails at the same time. This mind-bending concept challenges our everyday understanding of reality, suggesting that the universe is far stranger and more mysterious than we ever imagined. Another key concept is entanglement, where two particles become linked, even across vast distances. When the state of one particle is changed, the other instantly reflects that change as if they were connected by an invisible thread. This seemingly impossible connection has been experimentally verified and has profound implications for our understanding of the universe. 
Some physicists believe that these entangled particles could offer a glimpse into the existence of parallel universes, where every possible outcome of every event exists in its own separate reality. These parallel worlds, once relegated to the realm of science fiction, are now being seriously considered as a possible explanation for some of the most perplexing mysteries of the cosmos. Could these strange and wonderful concepts from the quantum realm hold the key to unlocking the secrets of consciousness and the afterlife? Could our minds, like entangled particles, be connected to a realm beyond our physical perception? While the scientific community remains divided on the implications of quantum physics for understanding consciousness and the afterlife, some intriguing theories have emerged. One such theory proposes that consciousness itself operates at the quantum level, existing as a fundamental property of the universe, much like energy or matter. This idea, known as quantum consciousness, suggests that our brains are not merely generators of consciousness, but rather receivers tuning into a universal field of consciousness that permeates all things. If consciousness is indeed a fundamental aspect of the universe, could it be that NDEs represent a temporary detachment from our physical bodies and a reintegration with this universal consciousness? Could the tunnel, the light and the beings of light encountered during NDEs be manifestations of this underlying reality perceived through the lens of our individual beliefs and experiences? Entanglement with its ability to connect particles across vast distances offers another tantalizing possibility. Could our minds be entangled with our bodies and upon death, does this entanglement simply shift to another dimension or plane of existence? Could this explain the feeling of leaving the body and the ability to perceive events from a detached perspective reported by Endideurs? While these ideas remain highly speculative, the possibility that quantum physics might hold the key to unlocking the secrets of consciousness and the afterlife is a tantalizing prospect, one that continues to fuel scientific inquiry and philosophical debate. Countless individuals have returned from near-death experiences with incredible stories. These first-hand accounts offer a glimpse into the profound impact such events can have on one's perspective on life and death and the nature of reality. Take, for example, the story of Dr. Eben Alexander, a renowned neurosurgeon who dismissed NDEs as mere hallucinations until he had a profound experience of his own. During a week-long coma caused by a rare brain infection, Dr. Alexander's neocortex, the part of the brain responsible for higher-level thinking, was completely shut down. Yet he reported a vivid and detailed NDE, journeying through a realm of unconditional love and encountering a being of pure light who communicated with him without words. This experience, so at odds with his scientific worldview, led Dr. Alexander to reconsider his understanding of consciousness and the afterlife. Another compelling account comes from Anita Morjani, a woman who was on the verge of death from cancer. As her body shut down, she had an out-of-body experience witnessing conversations happening in the hospital room and even traveling to another country to visit her brother. During her NDE, Anita had a profound realization that she was loved unconditionally and that her purpose in life was to live authentically and share her story with the world. Upon her miraculous recovery, Anita's cancer was gone and she dedicated her life to spreading a message of hope and healing. These are but two examples of the countless stories shared by Enders, each one a testament to the power of these experiences to transform lives and challenge our understanding of the universe and our place within it. While NDEs offer tantalizing hints of an afterlife, the scientific community remains cautious in its interpretations, seeking explanations grounded in empirical evidence and established biological processes. One prevailing theory suggests that NDEs are hallucinations caused by oxygen deprivation or chemical imbalances in the brain as it approaches death. The release of endorphins, for example, could explain the feelings of peace and euphoria often reported during NDEs, while the surge of electrical activity in the brain could account for the vivid imagery and out-of-body sensations. Others point to the temporal lobe, a region of the brain associated with memory, emotion and spiritual experiences, as the potential source of these phenomena. Stimulation of the temporal lobe 
whether through electrical impulses or altered states of consciousness, has been known to induce experiences similar to NDEs, such as out-of-body sensations, feelings of euphoria, and even religious visions. Psychological interpretations offer another perspective, suggesting that NDEs could be the brain's way of coping with the trauma of facing death. The mind faced with the ultimate unknown might construct these experiences as a way to create meaning, provide comfort, and reconcile with the inevitability of death. While these scientific and psychological explanations offer plausible interpretations for some aspects of NDEs, they fall short of explaining the full range of phenomena reported, including the consistency of accounts across cultures, the veridical perceptions of events witnessed during out-of-body experiences, and the long-term transformative effects on individuals' lives. Despite centuries of inquiry, the nature of consciousness and the existence of an afterlife remain among the greatest mysteries facing humanity. While NDEs offer intriguing clues, they also present us with more questions than answers. How can consciousness exist independently of the physical body? What is the nature of the realm experienced during NDEs? And what do these experiences tell us about the meaning of life and death? The truth is we simply don't know. The scientific study of consciousness is still in its infancy, and our current understanding of the brain is far from complete. We are like explorers charting a vast and uncharted territory, with each new discovery raising more questions and pushing the boundaries of our knowledge further. While we may never fully unravel the mysteries of life and death, the pursuit of understanding itself is a noble endeavor, one that has driven human progress for millennia. As we continue to explore the frontiers of science, consciousness and the nature of reality, it is essential to remain open to new possibilities, to challenge our assumptions and to embrace the unknown with a sense of wonder and curiosity. For it is in the space between what we know and what we don't know that the greatest discoveries are made and where the true potential for human understanding lies. The exploration of near-death experiences and the questions they raise about the afterlife is not merely an intellectual exercise, it is a deeply personal journey, one that invites us to confront our own mortality, examine our beliefs, and contemplate the meaning and purpose of our existence. Whether we approach these topics from a scientific, spiritual, or philosophical perspective, the journey itself can be transformative, leading to greater self-awareness, compassion, and a deeper appreciation for the preciousness of life. Ultimately, the answers we seek may lie beyond the realm of what can be definitively proven or disproven. Perhaps the true value of exploring these mysteries lies not in finding concrete answers, but in embracing the unknown, in cultivating a sense of awe and wonder in the face of the vastness of the universe and the enduring enigma of human consciousness. So let us continue to explore the question to imagine. Let us approach these profound mysteries with open minds and open hearts, knowing that the journey itself is as important as the destination. For in the words of the great Carl Sagan somewhere, something incredible is waiting to be known.